T2, Frage Nummer 4. Würdest du gerne später denselben Beruf wählen wie deine Mutter oder dein Vater? Achte hier auf Conditional Tense Linking Words Specialist Vocabulary for the World of Work Hier sind einige Ideen. Ich würde nicht gern als Lehrerin oder als Arzt arbeiten. Ich finde den Lehrerberuf ziemlich langweilig und die Arbeit in einem Krankenhaus extrem stressig. Stattdessen möchte ich lieber etwas ganz anderes machen. Mein Traumberuf wäre Autodesigner. Und deshalb würde ich gerne an der Uni Ingenieurwesen studieren. In der Zukunft möchte ich bei einer von den großen Autofirmen arbeiten. Oder vielleicht sogar bei einer Tech-Firma, die neue Erfindungen für die Autoindustrie entwickelt. So, this is asking you if you would like to do the same job as your, one of your parents. And we're going to have to answer in the same tense as the question. So... It's a conditional tense answer, and we had these conditional tenses. Ich würde nicht gerne als Lehrerin oder als Arzt arbeiten. Ich möchte lieber etwas ganz anderes machen. Mein Traumberuf wäre Autodesigner. So remember, you have two ways uh, that you can form the conditional tense. You can either use uh, würde, ich würde, and an infinitive at the end. Uh, we also have single word forms for more common verbs. And you know quite a lot of these by now. Ich möchte, uh, I would like, and uh, wäre, would be. So mein Traumberuf, my dream job, would be uh, auto designer. Uh, there are a number of others, and I'm sure you've seen them and can use them by now. We also had some nice linking words. Stattdessen. Is one that was particularly good, instead of that. And then here are some specialist words for the world of work, this topic. We had der Lehrerberuf, which is uh, the profession of the teacher, so the teaching profession. Die Arbeit. The job, uh, the work. Sorry, I hope that's fairly uh, obvious to you. Ingenieurwesen, which is the university course uh, of engineering. Bei einer Techfirma. And this is uh, what I wanted to stress here is that normally you would say by for at a, a particular firm. So perhaps you wanted to name the firm. Uh, let's say you wanted to work for Apple, you would say buy Apple. And we also had the auto industry. And this was to show you really that you make compound words out of uh, uh, industry and whatever it is. So it might be computer industry, sport industry, fußball industry. There could be any number of different things that you might like to use. 